are supposed to be out of bed, you blithering idiot. Oh. Sorry, Mum. Potter, take Weasley with you. He looks far too happy over there. For the time being, let them unfold. What? Do nothing? Offer him up as bait? We made it. Can you imagine the look in our McGonagall's face if we were late? That was bloody brilliant. Oh, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Perhaps it would be more useful if I were to transfigure Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch. That way one of you might be on time. We got lost. Then perhaps a map. I trust you don't need one to find your seats. Scummy! Professor Moody! What, what are you doing? Teaching. Is that a, is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. The House of Godric Gryffindor has commanded the respect of the wizard world for nearly ten centuries. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. I don't understand. Is that bad? It's bad. Good evening. <laughs> Something you'd like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Is it? When something happens, it is always you three. Professor, you're actually giving us permission to do this. That is correct, Longbottom. To blow it up. Boom. Boom. Wicked. As for you two gentlemen, well, I just hope you realise how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you. For sheer dumb luck. I've always wanted to use that spell. 